Hey, Abba Bubba. Welcome to Juan MD. My name is Juan. I'm an MD. And on Juan MD, I talk all about living life as a doctor and make the most of my Juan life to live. Now, before I continue this video, I wanted to say happy, happy new year to everyone. Yes, unfortunately, I'm going to be sweeping all of that. I want to encourage everyone, even if it's a new year, remember that we have to play it safe because there is still an evil virus out there. So I just want to remind everyone, stay at home. If you don't have to go out, put on your mask. If you do have to go out, keep washing your hands. And most importantly, get vaccinated. I acknowledge that there are people who will develop side effects to the vaccines. And so if you're afraid that you're at risk, it's a good idea to consult with your doctor first before making any judgments on yourself. I don't consider myself anti-vax, but at the same time, I like to consider the experiences of every single patient. One of my most basic principles is that no patient is made from a cookie cutter and everybody will react differently to different treatments. In the same way, I don't think that medical students are made from cookie cutters either. And all of us have our own unique way of studying speaking of studying this just came in the mail and i'm really excited to start studying start reading it you know how in my last video i showed you the swear table and some of their experiences they said that um it's all just outlines and tables but i think this is uh pretty well fleshed out i guess and i'm really excited to start studying this Oh, coincidentally, I landed already here on the first page, what I've already started reading. Um, the first uh, chapter is on gastroenterology. And there's this short segment here on hiatal hernias. And that's what I'm going to be uh, talking about today in this video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be discussing what a hiatal hernia is. And I'm going to be representing it in a drawing, like I usually do when I'm studying. Over here, I'm here at my favorite drawing app, Fire Alpaca. Alpaca. It's a great freeware drawing app, and it has all the basic features um, for drawing. It has everything you need. In this video, I'm going to be talking about hiatal hernia. Let's start with the normal. The normal anatomy. The esophagus usually goes into this hole in the diaphragm where it feeds into the stomach. You know, all the food passes through there. Uh, and there's this thing over here called the lower esophageal sphincter, and then the food goes in the stomach. However, sometimes, especially in like obese patients, because they're like obese, there's pressure on the stomach and the part of it is forced back up through the diaphragm. So instead of that, you have this. Boop. Boop. See, that's like part of the stomach, and that's the esophagus, and that's the esophagus, and that's the lower esophageal sphincter. Now, that's what you call a hiatal hernia. Um, usually, patients with hiatal hernias they have GERD like symptoms. So they have like heartburn, they have reflux, and they have chest pains. And they can also present with difficulty swallowing. Usually this is managed with weight loss so that you can reduce the pressure on the stomach, as well as proton pump inhibitors. So let's write that down. Weight loss and proton pump inhibitors such as omeprazole or isomeprazole. Now sometimes weight loss and proton pump inhibitors won't work and that's why you're going to need surgical correction um one of the procedures that are used is nisen fund application um that's when you get the fundus of the stomach and you kind of like wrap it around now sometimes there's a special kind of hernia called the paraesophageal hernia where it's not exactly like this but it's more like this let's use another color it's more like this. So instead of like being all around, it's just like one little appendage of the stomach. 
going out. Uh, usually something like this is going to need something like surgery uh, more than any other kind of hernia. How do you assess hiatal hernia? Well, other than the signs and symptoms, you can use imaging such as barium swallow. This can be used in most patients, but it is not very specific. More specific would be endoscopy. Now, when a patient presents with dysphagia, um, endoscopy would be a more specific procedure if you want to rule out more malignant causes. You would not use biopsy because biopsy is usually used for patients with Barrett's esophagus or with esophageal cancer. Okay, and that's pretty much hiatal hernia in a nutshell. Now, what I want to do, what I love to do with my studies, is I want to integrate all of this information into a drawing. I'll see if I can integrate this into a drawing so that I can retain it more in my memory. Let's see what I can do, shall we? Do, 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 do. Hmm. I got it. I have an idea. What starts with H that kind of sounds like hernia? Hermit crab. And so I'm going to make a hermit crab drawing that represents the hiatal hernia. So I'm going to first draw the shell. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to disconnect my main camera because this is slowing down my processor. I wish I had a faster computer. So here's the story behind our picture. Hermit crabs are usually very, very mischievous little creatures and they like getting their hands on whatever they can get their hands on. This one uh, found himself in a pickle. First of all, he used a coffee bean trivia shell. Yes, that's what it's called. The shell is called the coffee bean trivia as his hideout. Now, the coffee bean trivia, sadly, was too small for his chubby little body, and now he's kind of stuck there. Um, and it didn't help that he was drinking soda, uh, and you know that soda um, helps people to get fat. And in this case, the soda made this hermit crab fat, and now he is stuck in the shell. Um, he's trying to wedge himself out using a little flip-flop that he found on the beach, but it's doing no good. So, how does this represent esophageal hernia? You can see that the coffee, uh, the coffee bean trivia kind of looks like a stomach. And over there, our little crab has a double chin. That little double chin represents the diaphragm pinching against part of the stomach. And that represents the hernia. That represents the hernia bubbling out of the stomach. Now, the soda of course, represents obesity. And 
obesity makes people prone to esophageal hernia. Also, the crab looks quite nauseated because he's stuck there, and it looks like he wants to belch. Symptoms of reflux and chest pain, which are common in GERD patients, are also common in patients with esophageal hernia. Now, how do you assess patients with esophageal hernia? If they present with any of these symptoms, well, you can see in the upper left, the crab is holding berries soda with iodine, and it has a straw in it. To assess patients with esophageal hernia, you can either use a barium swallow on imaging, or you can use an endoscopy. Barium swallow is represented by the soda, and endoscopy is represented by the straw. It's the little tube that you're going to insert down the esophagus to visualize the inner part. Now that you've assessed the patient with esophageal hernia or hiatal hernia, how are you going to manage these patients? You can manage it first and foremost with weight loss, lifestyle management, and you can also use PPIs or omeprazoles. See, the flip-flop represents the zoles because you put it, you wear it on your zole, right? So omeprazole, esomeprazole, you can use these to manage patients with hiatal hernia. And finally, if neither of these works, you can use surgery. You can see that the coffee bean trivia, you can see that the coffee bean trivia has these little markings at the opening. That's kind of like what a Nissan fund application looks like. You can check out images of it on Google image search, and it looks kind of similar. Or I don't know about you, but it kind of reminds me of Nissan fund application. And this is how a hermit crab reminds me of a hiatal hernia. And that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope this helped you to study esophageal hernias. If you guys liked it, please click on the like button. Please click on subscribe and hit the bell so that you can stay tuned for future updates. And before we end, it's time for our word of the day. Till next time, guys, this has been Juan. Always remember to live life to the fullest because you only have one life to live. I kind of want a soda right now, but no, it's bad for you.